Now, two little things in, in the readings um, this morning. Um, in the first reading, uh, it's very noticeable how much the apostles have changed in a very short time. Because we're dealing with the same people who are locked up in a room, terrified and full of fear. Full of fear. Until Jesus came back and they received the, the, the Spirit. And we all have received the Spirit, but we don't make we don't make use of the Spirit. And, that, and that's the difference, I, I think. And then we come to the reading in the Gospel this morning. And, um, but no one accepts his testimony. But whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sends speaks the words of God. God. And what the gospel is saying this morning is that each and every one of us are totally loved by God, totally. But most of us, but no, I would, and I, but no one accepts his testimony. Very few people really believe that. And so we don't really have life. And what does that mean? That we're dependent on everyone else. What, what people think about us. We're, we're, we're looking all the time for approval and compliments for everything, everything we, we do. So why, why, do we need, why do we need that all the time? For we know it doesn't matter. What really matters is that God loves me as I am. And it doesn't matter what anybody else things or says about you or whether they approve of you or, or not. You are loved. You are loved. But we find, we find that so hard to accept. And I think that's, that's real faith. Not, not believing uh, in a supreme being up there somewhere, but believing that God is for us that God is for me. He is for you, no matter. And he will never let you down. He is always, he is always there at your beck and call. And what a beautiful thing it is when you really, really accept that in your life. You have a freedom. You have a total freedom. You're not worried all the time about what he or she or they or whoever uh, thinks about you. And that's the way God, that's real life. That's, that's, that's a good meaning of salvation. Because salvation begins here. It's not just in the hereafter.